All right, folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Avalon, and today we are on the Lord of the Rings online forums. And today's video, we're going to talk about the move of Treebeard to the Isengard expansion and how it was handled by SSG. I'm going to give you my opinion on this move, um, some of the issues that have arised from it, and we're going to go over this thread that I'm viewing on the screen as well. And generally, just talk about um, some of the long-standing issues at L SSG and Lord of the Rings Online. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe. Please share the video. All that stuff really helps the channel out. And I really, really appreciate the support. Thank you. So I guess what I'll do here is, is I want to preface this by saying on my channel I've done a few pieces about SSG and given them credit where credit is due. Um, if you've been playing Lord of the Rings online for a long time you know that there was a time in its it, history when it was owned by a company called Turbine which has spinned off to basically what SSG is now. But when we were under Turbine's um, management uh, communication was pretty sparse. There was actually points in the relationship where there was open hostility towards players. It was fairly bad. I want to make sure that I'm clear here. SSG has improved on that tremendously. You now have posts on the forums by uh, Blue Names devs. You very rarely had that in the past. You have... Um, Court, you had Court of the Rings for a long time, which he was doing. Um, it, Court, of, Court of On is the community manager. He was doing um, interviews with, you know, uh, developers, producers, etc. That fell off the wayside a little bit. He's now back doing it on Twitch exclusively, I believe. But, anyways, I just want to make sure that that's out there. That I think overall things have really improved. Now, the current situation is is Treebeard. Now Treebeard is the um, the slow server, for lack of a better term. It's a classic server, whatever you want to call it, legendary server. Um, basically, there was a, the, the progression of Treebeard was supposed to be every six months they were going to do an expansion. Okay. Um, the last expansion, Mirkwood, I believe was in June, so you would, or, or the end of June, so you think the, the next one would be um, in December. Now, the issue isn't the fact that we've moved to Isengard on Treebeard. The issue is the fact that SSG chose not to tell the Treebeard community when that was going to happen. And what happened was, is they moved Treebeard server to Isengard with the Yule time, with the Yule festival update. Okay. Now, there was a separate tweet, there was a Facebook post about it, but it was the same day, okay? That's the problem, okay? Um, and I'll leave a link to this thread in the description, in, in a comment below, or the description, I don't know yet. Um, there's a lot of people that are unhappy with this, and, and they have valid reasons to be unhappy, and I'll go over those. I've also, as you know, I play on Treebeard, and I've seen the chat over the last couple of days, and, uh, you know, there's been some pretty unhappy people. So why are they unhappy? What's the problem? First, let me say that for a legendary server like Treebeard, or any of the legendary servers, the single most important event on the server is the next progression, right? You're playing a particular um, expansion for three, four, five, six months, um, and you're ready for the next expansion. You want to know when that's going to happen so you can plan your time, you can manage your kinship, you know, maybe your kin is a raiding kin and you want to get server first for the particular uh, raids that happen in that expansion. Um, Maybe you have an alt that you're bringing through. Whatever it is, it's the single most important event. And what you hope is, 
is that the company that manages this server understands how important that event is to the player base and manages it in an in a reasonable manner now what does that actually mean what does reasonable manner mean a reasonable manner means that if you're the company SSG and you're planning to move a legendary server forward to the next expansion minimally in my opinion you should be giving a two-week notice to the player base to say hey we're moving forward to Isengard that Isengard is going to go live on December 9th they didn't do that now for me personally I'll survive that. I'm annoyed, frankly, because I, I was hoping to spend a little bit more time in Merkwood. Um, you know, for me, I play probably once a week now, maybe twice a week. You know, I, I just don't have time to play all my characters on all the servers, etc. I can't do that. But I can play a couple of times a week, and I was hoping to get a little bit more time in Merkwood. Um, that didn't happen. I'll survive. However... And this is something that I've learned through years and years of playing video games. There are people that are very dedicated to the games that they choose to play. And there are people that are very dedicated to Lord of the Rings Online. And there are also a lot of people that are dedicated to Treebeard Server and its progression. We want that very slow. Uh, we want to take our time. There's people that are far more dedicated than I am. For them, it's a big deal. Um, is this thousands of players? No. Is it hundreds? Probably not. Is it more than a dozen? Yeah. Is it 50, 60? Probably. So one of the things that I've, I've, I've noticed is, is that a lot of the raiding kins are affected by this. Okay? Because they actually do spend time preparing. They actually plan time off together that they can take so they can do the raid um, and level up when the content comes out. And I guess to some people out there, they may think, well, Jesus, that's silly, Karak. I mean, who the hell, you know, does that? I, I think it's very important to remember that, you know, MMO, a lot of MMOs do breed community and there are small pockets and communities within the Lotro um, umbrella. Okay, there are there are kins that play together that have for for years and years and years, um, and it's a big deal to them. It's something they look forward to. It's they they want to take time off together. Maybe there's five, six of them. They want to, you know, do these raids, experience it again, etc. And you're going to see that expressed in this thread that I'm linking in below. Um, the opener is from this particular player who's very unhappy. Now, let me be very clear here. A lot of the posts are hyperbolic. I understand. Some people get really, really mad. And, you know, oftentimes in an online environment, if you don't use strong language or you're not hyperbolic, you don't get noticed. Okay, so I completely understand that. What I've garnered from playing on Treebeard the last week, reading posts, looking at Twitter, looking at Facebook, is it's not the fact that Treebeard went to Isengard early or it went in, on December 9th. It's the fact that SSG didn't bother to communicate. Okay, And again, to reiterate, the single most important event on a legendary server in Lord of the Rings Online is the next progression. It's, I think it, it's a minimal ask that SSG would give the players some form of notice, like a, a week or two to mentally and, and get ready and prepare their kins, and they didn't do that. So that what that leaves us with is is why didn't that happen right so we know we've moved to isengard we know that we didn't really get much notice we know the expectation was is that we were supposed to get some so now the question is is why didn't we get some you know what happened well there's really only a couple of possibilities right incompetence 
whoever is in charge of doing that just isn't good at their job. That's what a lot of people on Treebeard are surmising. And I've heard that before. And again, I preface this video by saying SSG has improved. Um, maybe not as, as much as they should have. I don't know. But incompetence is one. A genuine mistake. It may very well have been that someone pressed a button somewhere that shouldn't have been pressed and it got updated. And, you know, once the horse is out of the barn, the horse is out of the barn. They couldn't go back and fix it. That's possible. Um, I don't know that. I'm not a developer. I'm a finance professional. I have no idea how the IT world works in terms of code. And, you know, is one box clicked? Is one code script written a certain way? I don't know. Um, what I will say about that particular option is, is that if that was the case, SSG hasn't said so. You know, this isn't, I'm not making this video on the day this happened. It's been a few days. Um, and the last option is, 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 is probably the one that's, that's the most bothersome is they're apathetic. And what that means is they truly don't care. Um, they're just, oh, we're going to just going to do this, get this out of the way so we can go home for the holidays. Not caring how the player base is affected at all. That's actually the one that's the most problematic because here's, here's the thing about video games in general, particularly online games. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a history lesson here. So back when I first started gaming in the 80s and then the early 90s, you would go to the store, you would buy a cartridge a disc or whatever it is and you would bring it home and play the game okay the anticipation was is that it'd be a good game you'd get value for your money and for the most part we did online games came around and now you're actually purchasing a service you're not just purchasing the game you're purchasing the management of the game you're purchasing the stewardship of the game and Conversely, a lot of companies now, what, what players don't seem to understand is, is companies need to manage video games long term. You know, it's not like back in the day you would go and buy Pac-Man on, on, on cartridge for your Atari and that's it. That's what you got, Pac-Man. There was no DLC to download. There was no um, patches to update. <laughs> you know, there was none of that. You, you purchase the game and that's what you got. Now you've got a online service that you're purchasing. And so with that comes specific expectations from both parties. You know, and, and it's reasonable to say, hey, you know, if there's a company out there like SSG that's managing video games and has costs to do that, they should expect to be able to sell specific products like cosmetics in the store, annual memberships, etc. Also, it, if you're a consumer of that product, you expect them to have a level of service uh, that goes along with the game that you're purchasing. Okay. The, ultimately, where the power lies is with the consumer because you choose to purchase this. Okay, you choose to be in the game. That's what makes the third option that I've outlined, apathy, so alarming is because this doesn't appear to be something that requires a lot of effort. You could have sent a tweet out two weeks ago saying, look, we intend to move forward with Isengard. That would have, th that would have been perfect. I mean, there would have been people that were unhappy okay because they don't want to go forward this quickly they you know they expected to play Merkwood until january i understand that but at least nobody would have been blindsided okay ssg couldn't even manage to do that so does that mean ssg is a horrible company and employees should be terminated and someone doesn't know what they're doing no does it mean that on this particular instance they drop the ball Yes. Does it mean this particular instance should have been very easy to manage? Yes. And that's why it's so alarming. It's like, well, if, if something this easy can just be, you know, dropped like this, um, wh why should we expect SSG to be able to handle stuff like um, technical tickets or 
um, doxing events that may happen against the servers. And if you look back through the timeline of, of Lotro, particularly since SSG took over, you see that there's a definite pattern here when there's events that require a little bit of finesse in terms of managing, SSG doesn't really do a good job of that. They really don't. I mean, they're very good storytellers within the third third age of, you know, Lord of the Rings Online in the context of that game. They're excellent at that. They're good at maintaining the, the game's integrity, I believe. But, you know, managing issues, not so much. And, you know, I, I mean... As an example, well, people will say, okay, Carrick, will you say that? Well, give me an example. What about world transfers? I mean, it took them almost, it, it was literally years for them to figure out how to how to do that from the old old servers. I mean, I, you know, geez, I mean, that's, it's a transfer from server to server. They couldn't figure out how to do it, or they just didn't think it was that important. And that's my biggest fear here is, is that this is a, a result of apathy. Now, th there's the next thing I want to address here, and I want to be very clear, um, that this may sound like a personal attack. It is not meant that way. It's just my personal opinion and observation over time of what I've seen. A lot of the chatter that I saw in World Chat on Treebeard was specifically targeted towards Cordovan in his ability to be a good community manager. I, I think at this point, that, that a lot of that is, again, hyperbolic, but there's, there's definitely some validity to that. This is a good example of, of how a, a community manager could rise to the occasion. And let me give you an example. This situation happened, Treebeard moved forward, a lot of the players on Treebeard are unhappy. A good community manager would have seen this, I mean, you know, this posts on the Twitter, this posts on the Facebook, this posts on the forums. That's what the community manager is supposed to do. They're supposed to monitor that and figure out, okay, do I have a problem here? Is this something I need to address? He could have assuaged a lot of people with just a quick... Uh, comment somewhere hey you know we understand that this happened we apologize this is the deal um and it very very well may be that he's going to do that on his uh court of the rings uh broadcast today i don't know this video is being made before that um he used to broadcast court of the rings on youtube i watched it i will not i don't go to twitch so I, i'm not going to see it but that might be an issue because there's been other examples in the past where there's just been a an abysmal lack of communication and understanding of from the players what the hell's going on and honestly that is the community manager's job to bridge the gap between the players and the company and make sure that there's while there may never be harmony at least there's an understanding as to what's going on and then players can make the decision if they want to continue to support that company or not now again like i prefaced the video i think things have gotten better way better since the turbine days and i think the catalyst for that was a few years ago we had um doxing attacks that happened on the servers i don't know where they're housed and and you know turbine i'm, I'm sorry ssg um, Lord of the Rings Online was down for a long time. They came back and answered that strongly, I felt. And they did that over time, and a lot of uh, how, how they managed to uh, fix that was is when the pandemic hit, they released a lot of free content. Now, that I think that was also a good um, business decision for them because people were stuck at home. But still, uh, you know, they, they, they've gotten better at their communication. So, uh, is this the community manager's fault? I don't know if he pressed the button to move us forward to, to, to Isengard on um, Treebeard. But the aftermath of when it does happen, did happen, and what 
SSG's reaction and response to the player base is, yeah, that's on him. That's his job. He's supposed to address these things. He's supposed to figure out what's going on in the community and, um, you know, uh, try to try to make things right if he can. Now, some people will say, well, Treebeard really isn't that high of a population server and, you know, he's got other things he needs to do. I understand that. SSG chose to offer Treebeard as a server. They chose to offer this service and thus, you know, they have to provide service to that product line. You know, it's a, it's like a car company. If you produce a car and then you say, oh, well, we're going to produce this different car. You know, if something goes wrong with that other car, you still have to, you know, fix it. Anyways, I understand that Cordovan is busy. There's, you know, they, they have the um, the charity event going on. He does manage another game, DDO. There are other servers. There are other issues that he has to deal with. Plus, it's the holiday season. But this seems to be a reoccurring theme here. We keep getting these examples of something that appears to us, the players, as something very simple to do. You know, a quick tweet two weeks ago, hey, we're going to move forward. That seems like it would take two to five minutes and we just can't get that now if 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 it's the case like i said um where this guy is too busy he's got too much to do then you know uh maybe ssg needs to think about getting another community manager um to support him i don't know what i do know is is that there are lots of people on the Treebeard server, server then are unhappy. Is it the majority? I can't say that. There's a lot of people that play on Treebeard that never say anything. Okay, you, you log into Treebeard and there's probably 20 people to 30 people that are active in world chat. And that's on a real busy day. Um, but there may be two, 300 people on total. Okay, I do know that, you know, in some of the discords out there, there are some unhappy people. And I know in the forums, there are some people that have made um, some less than uh, friendly remarks. Now, this particular thread, there are a lot of posts here. And, you know, some people have elaborated. I'm not going to go through every post. I think the first post in here um, by this particular player, <coughs> excuse me, who I'm not shaming at all, I'm not, uh, you know, Everyone's entitled to their opinion. I think this player illustrates pretty pretty well some of the um, angst that has occurred because of this move. Now, I, I don't I don't feel as strongly as this person, but I do understand their sentiment. I do understand where they're coming from. Um, I do understand that this is upsetting. Again, you know, one of the things that I've learned in my 40 years of playing video games is there are people out there that take their video games and their video game communities very seriously. It's it's um, not something that that's a category I fall into, but I respect the fact that other people have devoted time, they have relationships, and those relationships are based around events in a video game that's the reality we live in in an online world now and we can't just dismiss it out of hand we can't just say all oh, these people are nuts you know it's too serious or you know what's the big deal you know to them it's a big deal and it, it, you know <laughs> a little grace here for them is i think appropriate so I think, uh, let me conclude this video, and hopefully this doesn't go, this conclusion is in another 10 million, a, a 10 minute um, rant. <laughs> but let me conclude this video with saying, um, I, I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy on Treebeard. It works for me because it's very slow leveling. I think SSG and the community manager here dropped the ball on something that, you know, was a very easy thing to do that's problematic okay that that's an issue and for me as a content creator and a low troll player um 
it's important for me to point out when SSG does things right. And I've done that in the past quite a bit. I've made a few videos on my channel um, pointing out some of the positive things that SSG has done. It's also important as a content creator and a Lotro player to point out when SSG does things that are not so good. This is a mistake on their part. And the fact that they haven't addressed it yet, it's Friday at about 10 a.m., is also a problem okay um, this is not something that should have should wait a few days and just you know oh well I'll address it on my my court of the rings on Friday no this was a pretty material screw up for the Treebeard server this should have been given notice that Isengard was coming we should have had a date as to when it was going to drop whatever that is and they should have given us at least a couple of weeks to prepare for it and they didn't do that, and that should have been addressed immediately with either, hey, we're sorry this happened, or this is why it happened. Shouldn't have to wait for a couple of days, because what happens is, and you know this if you've played any type of online video game and there's a community, if you don't know why something's happened from the game developer, you draw your own conclusion. And people go all sorts of crazy places because you know we're we're all individuals right that's the last thing you want because now what's happened is is you have a whole new slice of people who think that ssg doesn't care about treebeard they think the community manager is incompetent and they're unhappy now of course remember their sphere is just the singular event but they extrapolate out to these macro conclusions. I understand that. I used to be one of those people. I don't personally think that those three those things are true. I think that SSG made a mistake here. And I don't they it, this is one of those things that can't be fixed. <laughs> okay, cuz you know, the the horse there's already level 75s uh, level capped on the server. They're not rolling it back. I know there's people in tree on the Treebeard server in the in the world chat last night actually that was saying we need to roll it back that's not going to happen um you know ssg you know what are they going to do they're going to give you lotro points they're going to give you you know a cosmetic pet i, I don't know i don't think they're going to do any of that i just think they're going to say oops and move on so for me i'm still going to be playing on Treebeard exclusively i don't have time to play my my characters on other servers um I understand why the population on Treebeard is upset by this. Um, it's disappointing that SSG couldn't at least give us a two-week notice. It shouldn't have been that hard to do unless they didn't know it was going to happen and this was a mistake. But we don't know that. And that, folks, is the inherent problem with SSG. The players are left to make their own conclusions. And that used to be the problem with Turbine. Um, hopefully SSG understands this. They look at what happened and they try to make a correction going forward so this doesn't happen again. We'll see. Anyways, tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you play on Treebeard? Did this affect you? Um, how do you feel about the community manager and the way SSG is uh, handling the game at this point in time? Anyways, I appreciate you coming by and taking your time to watch my content. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out. I really appreciate it, and I'll talk to you again soon.